We are here, 822 Thurston. This is the outside. It's got a 30 year architectural roof. Just to be in decent shape. Looks like they put on a new porch or redid the porch. The driveway is not paved. The storage shed in the back. Fenced in backyard, which is nice. Good size shed, garage. You put a garage door on it if you want it. It's the back of the house. Let's go in. It's a nice little porch. Inside. They put new tile in the landing. They redid the hardwoods. They look nice. All new windows. A decorative fireplace. This would be the living slash maybe dining room. I'm going to put a table in here. And have the living area over here. The kitchen is also big enough to put in small table here if you wanted to use the rest of the space just for a living room. Nice stainless appliances. Pretty white kitchen. Great floors. Go upstairs. Upstairs there are three bedrooms and one bath. First bedroom. Decent size closet. The next bedroom. And the third bedroom. They're all about the same size. They're all about nine by nine. Bathroom. Nice tile in the shower. All redone. Looks good. And then there's access to the attic from the bathroom. Very nice and clean. Make this into a storage area. This could actually be finished too. Could make another bedroom up here. Let's go down, see what's happening in the basement. So to get to the basement, we go through the kitchen. There's the door to the backyard. So I'm right back there. Two hundred amp service. Some room in the box. Looks good. Basement seems nice and dry. There's no sump, but there's a drain hole. Typical for this period home. This would be the laundry hookup. You've got your hot water tank. Looks like it's six years old. And your furnace. Looks to be about about 15 to 20 years old. But 
basement down here looks good. Nice and dry. So that is it. Let me know what you think.